Hello good people, my name is Tatenda Chiwanga and Dinuira Simboti. Yes, I've been AWOL for a long time, but uh, here I am, um, I guess I'm forgiven. And yes, in Zimbabwe it has been eventful, but sadly to those who lost their lives, uh, my heart goes out to them. And uh, yeah, it was a sad time. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about the political situation in Zimbabwe. I'm here to talk about mining. Uh, especially for those people who are starting, you know, when you're thinking about mining, you're a beginner. The first thing you need to know is that when you're starting out, there's certain equipment that I would say that you need uh, to start mining successfully. Uh, and the first piece of equipment is a jackhammer and a compressor. These two things you you can do without, but trust me, these things will absolutely make your life easier. Uh, I think if you don't have anything else, make sure you've got a jackhammer and a compressor because these are going to make your life a lot easier. And uh, you're going to learn that in mining, it's all about sharing. A lot of people think you're going to go into mining and, uh, you know, you want to get all the gold for yourself. It's all your profit. Well, you can do that, but here are things, here are things that you need to take into consideration. You're not going to have a lot of money to invest. Well, I'm not speaking to those people who've got loads of money, but I'm speaking to that person who wants to begin. Like, you know, when I began 18, 19 years old, I didn't have a lot of money. And uh, what I had was people skills. You know, if you've got the ability to negotiate deals, then you are in the good. Because here's the thing. When you have a deal with someone to use their compressor, maybe pay them for the first one week or two weeks or even a month in advance. Then you use their piece of equipment. When your mind starts producing, try to formulate a deal where they the person who's hiring or renting you these uh, pieces of equipment, they get a share of your gold. That will make you a bit more secure. What I mean is, at least you get to keep your cash, the cash that you already have, because in the mining business, you're gonna realize that cash is gold and you need cash every time because anything can happen, emergencies can happen. So if you can keep as much cash as you can possibly keep do it because if your pump needs repairing you need cash real quick if your equipment needs any piece of equipment needs repairs you need cash to get the job done because these people are going to need to do the repair you pay them they go you stay with the equipment they're not they're different from the people who are hiring you the plant equipment where they know where you live they know that you're in this for the long term. So try to sort of like formulate a non-cash payment scheme where they get some of the gold or they get paid after you go to the meal. So if you can sort of like work out ways to negotiate with people who are hiring you these equipment. And the other thing, because I know a lot of people start, you know, these deals in good faith. And then at the end of the day, or don't go teaser teaser then you start you know trying to get to wiggle yourself out of paying bills you need to pay your bills so when you start this percentage scheme you need to go all the way through and pay somebody that you've used their equipment that's the other thing you need to note and um one other thing people don't really talk about in mining is health and safety i know a lot of people just want to start digging into mines and yada 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 but health and safety is something very very important that you need to take into consideration and uh, in my early days of mining i learned that yes not everyone can afford to hire a civil engineer or to put concrete in their mine shafts. Not everyone can afford that, but there are other ways. And the way I know that you can go about it is to use timber poles. Uh, so this is your normal concrete poles that you can line in your shafts. This makes it a bit more stable. It's not the safest, but it's better than nothing. So if you can, please Google timbering. So this is like using timber poles, laying them in the shafts to make the earth a bit more stable and uh, it's it's quite safe because we've heard a lot of people who've had shafts collapse 
while they're still under and that's the end if you don't have any measures in place you can't rescue anybody so when you're starting your mine have health and safety in mind ah uh, that's uh <laughs> when you're starting your mind have health and safety in mind so yeah that's uh, i think that's my two cents on the matter and uh if you want to know more not everything because i don't know everything but i what i know i will share and please like and subscribe and oh yes we've got 150 subscribers on the channel yes yes that is quite impressive because that means 150 people want to listen to what i'm saying that's, that's absolutely lovely but anyway